president of movie night, I want to welcome you to a perfect evening of entertainment <laughs> and wonder. All right. I can't believe no one voted for me to be president of movie night. Come on, picking Hank was a no-brainer. He's a master of movies. He'll get every little detail right. Yep, I got every little detail right. We'll start at 8 o'clock sharp, the best time for movie viewing. I've lowered the lights to 37%, the perfect dimness for optimal screen focus. And for the ultimate movie snack, we have... <gasps> oh, no, 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 I'm a failure. Wait, is something wrong? Aww. We're out of popcorn. Movie night is ruined. No! Ha! Now I get to be president of... Oh, man! Whoa, who's this hardworking farmer and what did you do with Hank? Angela, the tragic events of last night really opened my eyes. If we can run out of popcorn once, we can run out of popcorn again. So, I'm growing my own corn. Oh, that will be so nice to have a movie night in a few months. A few months? No way! These things will be fully grown by tomorrow. But that's not how farming works. Unless you're planning to... I found it! If you need instant super-growing results, nothing like my experimental fertilizer super-grow. Great! Science me up, Ben! No! Put that away! Plants should only be grown with natural things, like sun and dirt and smiles. Like this! <laughs> That's not doing anything. Wait for it! Mm. Mm. Hank, use the super grow. No! If you mess with nature, there could be terrible consequences! <sighs> All right, Angela, you win. I want my popcorn to be natural. And you were louder. Mm -hmm. You're making the right decision. So I'll just wait here then. Nice and patient. No need to rush to. No, I can't take the waiting anymore. <laughs> Give me that super grow. Now, now, now. <gasps> what? Did you use the Super Grow? Now, don't you worry your mind about that, friend. Just sit for a spell and let old Farmer Hank fetch your treat. Ah, get that away from me. Science is for phones and spaceships, not food. Now, now, that there ain't bad corn. It's good corn. But stop talking like a farmer. Ew. Mmm, uh... that corn is good corn. What is all this? Why, this is a farming. We're planting a whole parcel of this here corn, see? Such good corn it is. Uh, good day, <laughs> Miss Angela. We sure would be honored if you'd sample some of our vittles. Our vittles are corn. <gasps> oh, oh, Tom, thank goodness it's you. <laughs> of course it's me. Are you okay? I'm fine, but something's wrong with Hank, Ben, and Ginger. And there's corn all over the place. Oh, that. Yeah, I can explain. Follow me. Oh, that's a relief. Ugh. I was worried something terrible was going on. Well, you'll never have to worry again, Angela. Because what's going on is actually... wonderful. <laughs> this here is the mother cob. Ain't she a beaut? <sighs> You're one of them. Join us, Angela. All it takes is eating just a little bit of corn. No. Corn. No, Tom. Corn. 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 Brainwashed. I barely got out of there, Xenon. Good. Sounds like you're describing corn 
control. See, it can happen when people eat plants grown with artificial chemicals. You didn't happen to get a sample of Ben's formula, did you? No! I was too busy being chased around by a giant monster corn that Tom called the Mother Cobb. <gasps> That's it! That could be the source of the mind control. What? You have to go back and find a way to destroy that Cobb. I'll have to make them think I'm one of them. Oof. This is gonna take all of my acting skills. Fortunately, I was in a play once. <gasps> this caramel would make some good caramel corn. Oh. So guilty, I came back and ate a bunch of corn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I'm just like you. Corn. Welcome to the corn stock. Corn. 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 So, uh, corn. what are we doing with the big corn. heat lamps? Corn. Well, I'm making caramel popcorn corn. for the town corn. of movie theater, see? <gasps> well, that's a tastiest corn. movie treat. Everyone corn. in town will eat it and get controlled by the corn. Which is good? <laughs> corn! <laughs> yes, corn sister. Corn. And after that, corn. we'll control everyone. Corn. Everywhere. Corn. 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 Are they finally asleep? I was getting tired of staring at the inside of your hat. Corn. Corn. Yeah, now we have to stop this before it corns up the whole world. Corn. Remember me? I've brought the one thing any corn fears. A blow dryer. Ooh, can't take the heat. Huh? what happens when a mother cop pops. Uh, Tom, let's go! Tom? Tom, where are you? Oh. 
I... Oh, that was amazing. Uh? That's a terrible joke, Tom. <sighs> what happened? You used chemicals to plant your corn and it took over your minds. Hey, don't blame chemicals. Water is also a chemical. I learned you should eat popcorn angry. Take over my brain, will ya? <laughs> <laughs> I think we know the real lesson we learned. Right, Hank? Uh, it's don't mess with nature. Huh. But more importantly, I learned I'm a pretty good farmer. With all this popcorn, we'll never have a bad movie night again. Woo! Yeah. Ah, ah. Finally! Hold on. Is it time for the Taste of Town Food Festival already? Sure is. But make sure to wear your extra stretchy pants, because I'm not the only one cooking this year. That's right! Who wants to try one of Jeremy's famous cookies? Ooh, I would love to try a... Coconut oh. lemon chocolate chip oatmeal! Mm. Come on. You know, I've always had a dream of becoming a chef. So, when Hank told me about this food festival, I thought it could be my big break! Hey, wow! Mm. You really left your nasty old germ life behind. I'm proud of you. Me. Did that come from the bathroom? Hey, there he is. Ready? Oh! the masks. We're just not immune to you yet. Hey, don't flatter yourself, doll. I came here because I wanted my brother to know I've decided to split. Split? I believe Nigel is referring to mitosis, the process in which one cell divides into multiple cells. Ben, we have a child present. Wow, a new germ is gonna be joining the family. Congratulations, bro. So what do you, what do you, what do you say we go out and celebrate, huh? I want to have some fun. I mean, last night is a single germ. Uh, not sure that's a very good idea, Nigel. Jeremy is clean now, and you're, well... Guys, come on, don't be rude. Nigel is family. Besides, how could I say no to that adorable face? Okay, Jeremy, but don't forget, the food festival is tomorrow. Trust me, me and Nigel are just gonna have some good, clean fun. Woo! <laughs> the germs are back, All right. baby! So, so sorry. Oh, save it. I thought you had turned a corner. Then I woke up to find ooze in my shoes. <laughs> Once a germ, always a germ. And look what you did with the precious cookies. Look at them. My cookies! But I need those for the food. Oh, no, the food festival. I'm late. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, late, 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 late. Now, I know I'm a little late, but I'm here now and I got my cookies. All the booths are taken, Jeremy. I warned you, these food folk don't fool around. Uh, how about that booth over by the porta potties? Hey, slime ball, beat it! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Hey, what's with the tears? What are you, cleaning off your face? Yeah! This is all your fault. I was on my 
I went to become a chef until you showed up and a ruined chef? everything. Whoa, brother! You really think these soap heads would eat your lousy germ food? Come on, look around. Okay, okay. So these people haven't given me a chance, but my friends. The friends who told you not to go out with your old brother. The friends always making you feel bad about being gross. You and that sick sibling of yours. Once a germ, always a germ. Oh, you're right. They don't really like me. They could never like me. I was fooling myself. But I am not fooling myself anymore. I am done fighting who I really am. I am Jeremy the Germ, a tissue soaking menace to society. That's the spirit. Now, how about we show these rubbers what we really think of the little festival? Do you think we were too hard on Jeremy earlier? Sometimes being a good friend means showing a little tough love. I'm sure Jeremy gets that. <laughs> Hank! Hank, what's going on? Speak to me! It all happened so fast. Let the world see what they've done to you. Ew, Ginger, no, don't touch those. They deserve a proper burial. All right, that's it. Nobody messes with our food or our friends. We've got to get Jeremy away from Nigel. Looks like those two are peas in a Petri dish. No, this is Nigel's fault. Come on. Jeremy, there you are. Get away from me! Go home and wash behind your ears or whatever you sickos like to do! Listen, Jeremy, we know you made a mistake, but it's not too late to clean up your act. You can't help me! Can someone help me push this? Okay, fine. Wait, what does that suspicious handle do? Eh, not much. Just backs up the sewers, floods the town with sludge. <laughs> For long. When I do this, all the people will leave, and only germs will be able to stay. It'll be a protozoan in paradise, and I shall call it Club Crud. Hey, you tell him, bro. We won't let you do this. It's gonna take a lot more than two germs to take over this town. Fair enough. <laughs> oh no, they split. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> I guess I gotta do this myself. I think you've overstayed your welcome, brother. You were always the 
the worst brother. No one in the family likes you. Well, that's fine with me, because I got a better family right here. My friends! <laughs> 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 Jeremy, you kicked some bad guy butt. It's finally over. Not yet it isn't. Wow, Jeremy, you totally saved the festival, which is good since you also helped to totally ruin the festival. Oh, I can't believe this delicious food was cooked by a germ. I just hope you can accept these tasty treats as my apology for trash and affair. A chef always accepts a food-based apology from a fellow chef. You know, you want a job at the diner? Oh, that would be so amazing! But I don't deserve another chance. Well, of course you do. Well, sure, we'd miss having you around the garage, but this is a chance to follow your dream. I'll do it! Oh, looks like this ended up being my big break after all. What a happy ending, huh? It sure was. Everything worked out. Oh, my tummy. I don't think those sewer oh. cookies were safe to eat. Oh. Yeah, probably not. Let's stop a crime now, huh? <laughs> oh. Woo. I've yes. never been a fan of the Bongo and McGillicuddy show, but their new mobile <laughs> game rules. Um. Get it? Rules? Because it's a game about Dude. law enforcement. Stop ruining it, Ben! This is the best app I ever played this week. Mm. <gasps> My perp confessed! I just leveled up to Bicycle Cop! Woo! Uh, huh? Uh, yeah. Uh. <gasps> oh! I love how you can make your own character. I'm playing as Jackie, a no-nonsense lady of the law who hates crime. And nonsense. Oh, don't mess with Jackie. Wait. I just realized something. If we're loving this game, imagine how Hank, the world's biggest Bongo and McGillicuddy fan, feels. This must be the best day of his life. Yeah, <laughs> this must be. This is the worst day of my life. Have you seen this new game? It's an insult, a joke, a slap in the face to our cartoon boys in blue. Really? We all love it. Yeah. It's fun. It's not fun. It's wrong. The ah. shape of the police station is wrong. Hmm. The rookie <gasps> ranking system is wrong. And McGillicuddy's accent, it's ridiculous and also wrong. Let's stop a crime now, huh? Ah. Uh, I guess we didn't notice all that. We just thought anything with Bongo and McGillicuddy in it has got to be good, right? Wrong, 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 wrong. <laughs> Five stars, this game rocks. Oh, what do they know? Again, five stars. Ugh, why can't they see how much better the show is? Ugh. We did it, McGillicuddy. We made a cake to surprise the chief on the anniversary of his first collar. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Sometimes if you want something done right, you just have to do it yourself. Oh. Bongo, you are so right. I have to do it myself. And I think I know just what it myself is going to do. Attention, everyone. Do not play the Bongo and McGillicuddy mobile game. Why not? I love the idiot. You're playing a bad game. But don't worry, I have a better one. The only game that stays true to everyone's favorite TV cops, Bongo and McGillicuddy's Tabletop Adventure Game. You see how fun this is? Oh, landed on a give me your badge space. That means I can stop playing by the rules. This one's lame! The phone game is great! No! The game's all wrong! That's the whole point! You don't even care! It's just a game. Just a... No, it's not! Bongo and McGillicuddy are my friends! Bongo and McGillicuddy are real! <laughs> Stop laughing! I'm serious! Bongo is real! McGillicuddy is real! My friendship with them is real! Real! Hmm. 
<laughs> I love this game! Yes! I just arrested a smuggler and then bought his speedboat at a police auction. I've got to catch up to you. I forgot to get a warrant and lost ten badges. Attention! It is I, the super fan! The what? Get it? Super fan, multiple meanings. The tank! My message is simple. Say goodbye to your precious Bongo and McGillicuddy mobile game, because at 6 o'clock tonight, it's game over. However! <laughs> what is Hank thinking? I know. Why wouldn't he edit out that last part? We have to stop him. But hey! Hmm. We don't know where he is or where he's going, and we don't have any way to find him. That's easy. We just have to... Huh? I don't know. Usually Hank is the one who deals with the crime stuff. In the game, if a case is too tough, you can ask Bongo and McGillicuddy for advice. I mean, if Bongo and McGillicuddy were here, they'd know what to do. Too bad they're not. They never will be. Huh? Hello, citizens. We're a couple of undercover cops, and as we patrolled this precinct, we couldn't help but perceive your predicament. Have we met? You look familiar. No, no, we're out of town cops. I'm Morgan, and this is Brad. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you say we offer you as a bit of police assistance and uh, get hunting for your friend? That's exactly what we needed. Come on, everyone. Huh? Let's investigate. Backdrop, camera, script. Mm -hmm. Now, to your civilian, untrained eye, this probably looks like nothing. But to me, it's a clue. Hank must have recorded his video right here. If that's true, then someone nearby might have seen something. How may I help you, officer? We're looking for your neighbor, Hank. Oh, Hank, yes, of course I saw him. He was flying into town, laughing to himself and talking about needing a lot of electronics. Wait a minute, electronics? They sell those at the electronics store. Yep, Hank was here, all right. And he bought a suspicious supply of electronics. Oh, but why is Ronnie's name on that receipt? <gasps> he must have used Ronnie's discount card. That means Ronnie probably knows where he's headed. I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> oh, yeah. go back to jail. You've never been to jail, Ronnie. My mom drove past the jail once and it was horrible. Well, if you want to stay out of trouble, you better start talking. Are you working with Hank? He, he told me he'd use my card so I could get the points from his purchase if I showed him how to hook a magnet to a server. What? what? Hank is going to delete the game? I'm going to delete his face. I just wanted points. I've been saving up to get my old toaster for a hmm. year. Quick, to the server district. Game's up, Hank. This is where the game's data is stored. <gasps> hmm. Hmm. Ah, wait, 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 there he is! Uh, uh, uh. Ha! You're too late. When this countdown ends, my Mega Magnet will erase all these servers. Nice plan, Superfan, but you forgot about one thing. Justice! Uh... Why? Why are you doing this? I have to do this. The only way to stop people from liking the game is to stop the game from existing. Hey. Why can't people like a thing even if you don't like it? Because I know more about my favorite show than any of those other people. Ah! Oh, ah! Ah! <laughs> the world will soon be a better place. All thanks to me, the super fan. You don't sound like a fan right now. You sound like a villain. Wrong, Ginger. Wrong. I'm the hero in this story, and if they were here, Bongo and McGillicuddy would agree. That's not true. And I should know, Hank, oh. because I'm Bongo. <gasps> and he's McGillicuddy. Oh. Bongo and McGillicuddy. Bongo and McGillicuddy are real. Oh, well, we're real, all right. Real disappointed in our friend, Hank. Disapp what? I was just trying to protect you. This game gets it all wrong. More. There's always time for pizza. Hank.
think that game might have changed a few details about us. Yeah, a few zillion. You know what it didn't change? Our love of fighting crime and righting wrongs. Can't you see that? I... I thought I was helping. Oh, I can't believe I turned evil. But you're not evil. You're Hank. Yes. And you can still fix this. You're right. Server deletion order canceled! Hmm? <gasps> Uh-oh. Without that remote, there's no way to stop the countdown. The servers are gonna be destroyed. This whole adventure was for nothing! Not if I can help it. Oh, I stopped the crime now, huh? Well, I never thought I'd say this, but it's been nice meeting you, real Bongo <laughs> and real McGillicuddy. Uh, before you return to your home, or uh, your reality, alternate as it may be, I have a few quick questions regarding the scientific implications of your existence alongside ours. Ahem. Given a construct of a uh, uh, material universe... <laughs> Classic Ben. Uh, yes, Always being a nerd. Universe. But time what for us to go. Hey, uh, anyone seen mind? Hank? Hey, your cartoon friends are leaving! You, huh? Oh, uh, hang on, I want to earn bigger tires for my police plane. Okay, I guess he's got more important things to do right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well... Huh? Hmm... <laughs>